whatever you and he negotiate on, that's your business. Mm -hmm. You know, this person is selling lane. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to up the price and get our cut. That's between you and the landowner. And so that's how we focus on helping the diaspora that's coming in the country by providing them uh, with some assistance that we didn't have when we came. Because when we came right. in 2016, uh -oh. that's right, we came in 2015 for two weeks, went back to America for six months, then we got the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so, right. so we've been here ever since and stuff, and uh, we didn't have any assistance. You know, we was going around asking people, hey man, <clears throat> excuse me, who does this and who does that? Everybody wanted the charges and everybody was ripping off, ripping us off and stuff. So this is why, this is uh, uh, as much as we were able I'll to develop in seven <laughs> years because of those obstacles, you know, the ups and downs. But uh, the people that are coming after us, that, that tie into us, they should build it a lot faster than we are. And, and again, they don't have to build it on this scale because what we want to do is build the chocolate city. Yes, right, yes. If, 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 if you ain't chocolate, I mean, the St. Joe City, you you not you not openly welcome. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, if you want to spend money and give me your money, I'll take it just like they do to us in the diaspora. That's what's up. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but the privilege, you leave that at the gate. Yeah. You know, when you come in here, you know, you're not gonna get served before nobody else. You know. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, you don't taste better than anybody else. Yes, you know what sure. I'm saying? So uh, that's what we're doing in a nutshell and stuff. So anyway, five acres over here of that, ground crops and stuff. And back over this way here uh, is five acres of fruit trees where we got mm. yeah. the Gambian version of a uh, 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 almond. It's called a ghetto tubab. Yeah, uh, we got oranges. Yeah, yeah. That one we use it for coffee. For coffee. Yeah, for coffee. Uh, when it's okay. up seeds, yeah. yeah, you just go and make lots of small. Pound it and yes. then make it for coffee. Very it's delicious. Coffee. It's natural. Yeah, very no delicious. Chemicals. Very delicious. Yeah, yeah no yeah, chemicals. The, 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 yeah. skin, the skin outside of it is reddish and yeah. it has a cherry taste. Yeah, cherry. And then there's a nut inside. Now, I don't know how true it is. They say historical. We, uh, When we got enslaved, we took it on the boat and yes, they were yes. using the, the fruit yes. juice on the skin as hydration and then they eat the nut on the inside even if you fast as far as food. even if you fast uh -huh. and you're breaking the fast you know, okay like people use it fast before uh -huh. it's okay we got you then but that's what? what we got over here those five acres of fruit trees and stuff that's a lot and of then land. in the middle we got our uh starter house that's our starter house um and again we've been here for like seven years and i'm 59 years old i've been able to achieve in seven years, what I could not do in America, 50 plus years. Because, you know, I, I had to be twice as good with less pay. You see what I'm saying? So, so here, twice as good propels you to the front of the line. You see what I'm saying? There's no obstacles. The only obstacles here are the obstacles that you place on yourself. You see what I'm saying? And we've rarely been in that position where... You know, our aspirations to take us to the front of the line. You always got, you know, uh, mechanisms in place to kind of hinder us as people and stuff. And hopefully y'all can relate to what I'm saying without no. going into detail. No. Now, if I do have to go into detail, devils. There's devils that's, Monkeys. you know, the monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we call them devils and my brother call them monkeys. <laughs> exactly. Hold, holding you back. So, so anyway, again here, you can aspire. Uh, and soar as high as you like to go. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't have to necessarily be Gambia. It doesn't have necessarily have to be Senegal, Ghana. There's, there's 54 countries on the continent. Find your niche if, if you desire, you know, for freedom. You had a question? Thank you for coming. I'm here to find out, do you have a cash cow that creates some income in the States that keeps you sustained here until you get where you want to go? Okay. Well, I went to fight in Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and got a lot of wrong. I know, I know. You tell that story. Whoa, you scared me. So, 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 you got a little, you got a little, uh, uh, huh? Disability. Did I catch y'all off guard when I did that? Okay, I'm sorry. I love the joke, though. I love the joke. So, so anyway, so, I, I went to Desert Shield, Desert Storm. I didn't come back as healthy as I, I went into it and stuff, so. I'm a disabled veteran, right. and uh, when we got here, my family kept pressing me to say, Dad, you know, you're kind of funny. 
do this YouTube thing. And I was like, I don't want to do that. That's a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd much rather be reading books and stuff. So they finally showed me how much you can make in YouTube. And so we jumped on that and stuff. And um, and you can you can you can clock that bad boy up to uh, five digits per month when you're really cranking it and oh, stuff. So. Uh, <laughs> you got a lot of so, but you got to so, put the work out so, though. So, but that, 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 and that's what they do. Yeah, but that pales in comparison to once this bad boy here gets clicking because I don't want to rest on my laurels and say, hey, that's I got right. this coming from the illusion because, you know, they can get funky at any time yes. and say, you know, yes. two minutes y'all leave it. You got that All these beautiful sisters leaving this stuff. Hey, we ain't about to have that. Mm -hmm. Snip, snip. You see what I'm saying? So you got to come on the continent and build something here. You know, uh, if you got something good coming from the U.S. or wherever, fine and dandy, but don't rest on that because they're trying to chop it at all times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. so if you do anything, even if you braid hair or if you sew or if you're a farmer now, a cook, a teacher, cook, we need some good it's, 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 Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's business yeah. opportunities oh, here, and, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your age. You know what I'm saying? We see some people coming here in their 70s yeah, developing business. Yeah, I you told know, them. Single women coming here and open up uh, trucking companies and stuff. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. and, and they didn't have this background in the illusion. They they were like school teachers, and they came here and they listened to the videos and took notes and came here and got all these trucks on the road running sand and yeah. whatnot material yeah, and stuff. So <laughs> the, the opportunities here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So restaurants, people opening up restaurants touring companies yes. and stuff like that you know i mean it, it, it's available and, and, and it's it's if you want unhindered to go, you buy kasu mm -hmm. like right now people kasu in the next yeah. one two months people mm -hmm. kasu will start falling yeah you're talking so about cashews just, mm -hmm. yes you can see oh, yes. market right now yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and yeah. even yeah. oranges also is here yeah. Mango, when it's time for mango season mm -hmm. oh my god yeah. you know That's right. you know here like in uh when i was in burkina faso you know in uh, they have one factory there Whereby they peel the mangoes mm. and dry them, you know what I mean? Dry, yeah. yeah, so big money. you can have it here also. Yeah, because we have more money. mangoes here than there. He's right. Yeah. And it's what about not really dry mangoes yeah. here either. Yeah, dry. So, yeah. no, they're imported. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. talking yeah. about that that's made here in the Gambia. No, no, it's not made here. You that's said so mangoes are imported? Huh? Yes. Dehydrated mangoes. Oh, dehydrated. 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 So why can't we dehydrate our own mangoes here since exactly. there's so many? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's why I said we got to build the fast. Yeah, this we got to build the fast. You have to build the fast. Take the cashews, yeah. send them to America, uh -huh. and send plants. India. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we had a question over there. Did somebody have a question? Yeah. Somebody yeah. had a question? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Oh, we did? Okay, then. All right. Are there any other questions, guys? How do you get mail here? How does the postal system? Actually, they in America, like when you send some mail from America, they put it on a bird, and then like maybe like thirty, <laughs> maybe put it. Go ahead, keep on. We, we, you know, I know you. Snail no, mail. No, no, she said, she said, is the mail here? It's air mail. Yeah, there's mail. Yeah, you know. You get, uh, it takes about sometimes three weeks to mm -hmm. a month to get it from America. Boxes. Yeah, sometimes it can be sooner. Like when the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. you pick it up at the post office. Yeah, but like, yes. 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 you get it all delivered. Post, post office box. Yeah. If you they just have go pick it, go pick it up. You can get that too. But if they don't come here, so it goes to a central location. Exactly. You just put the name, whatever your name is, and if it's you know whatever area you're in. They will get it to you. Mm -hmm. They will always put your box. number there. Mm -hmm. yeah, now, but like, if you want it faster, you can use the DHL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or they charge it's extra money. Days. That one every, every three days, four days, you yeah. get it. Yeah. You still have to, no, you, they have a, a site where they can get you. In California, yeah. They'll call you because the person who sent it all the time. They'll call you and say, you have a package here. So you go to DHL, which is on Joshua, West Street, West Street, West Street, West Street, West Street, and they'll call you. Don't steal by. You got no steel. Just three, four days to get it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not bad. Not, that's not bad, but they do have a little price on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and I want to uh, interject one thing, too, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure when y'all are looking at the place, y'all are like, man, this is the 1960s and 50s and 70s. Kind of. In the illusion. You know what I'm saying? So if you come here, you know. Where we come from is 2023, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can come here and use that knowledge mm -hmm. and, and and use it to your advantage. Mm -hmm. So when Gambia develops more than it is right now, yeah. you're in a you position to benefit from yeah. that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, so I do everything mm -hmm. I do right now with my descendants in mind. 
they're going to one day say grandpa, grandma right. came here, built this, and mm -hmm. propelled us into the future. You know what I'm That's saying? Because right. in the yeah. illusion to do this, they were tearing down. Mm -hmm. They were tearing down. You know what I'm saying? We, I thought about this. I thought about this in the illusion, but I said they're tearing down. You know what I'm saying? That's been a track record. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we build it, they tear it down. That's it. What is your YouTube channel? Oh, it's called Black Acres of the Gambia. Okay. And they oh, call us the Bag Family the for sure. The Bag Family. It'll yeah. pop right up. Yeah. The Black Bag Acres of the Gambia. B-A-G. Yeah. B-A-G. Just the Bag Family. Yeah, Bag Family. And it'll pop right up. And yeah. just search mm -hmm. that. Hundreds of videos. That picture you see there, you'll see that on it. No, hundreds is right. Okay. A thousand sooner or later. Yeah. So uh, the, the, the sky's the limit. You got another do question? You, do you, um, I mean, I know you have a big operation here, but do you end up using uh, or having any of the younger youth help you and you show them what you're doing and yes, all that? So great, great, okay. great question. Uh, uh, we utilize uh, the, the resources of the village that y'all just came through, uh, C4. So we hire a lot of uh, kids, not intentionally now. We just say, hey, if you want some work, and get above average pay, come to bag, you know. So a lot of come here and uh, get their school fees. And then once they get their school fees, they quit and go to school. I have no problem with that because in the future they get to say, hey, you know, this, 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 this couple came here and helped Some of them come on the weekend when they're not in school. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And so uh, we hire a lot of them. And uh, uh, hit you with a story, there was a lady whose husband died. Un, uh, unexpected and uh, left her with some kids and so she was struggling now you know what I'm saying she didn't know how she was gonna make it and so uh, when we started the operation and started hiring she asked one of uh, our close friends would they hire me I'm, I'm, I'm an elder lady and and they know us and they said just go there and show them what you can do and so she came here and started working for us and not she don't bought land she building a house she putting her kids through school school fees she ain't gotta say wait. Mm -hmm. She say, "Oh, this date, here's the money for school fees," mm -hmm. versus everybody else saying, mm -hmm. "Can you sponsor me or something to that effect?" Uh -huh, she's nice. standing on her own two feet. You know what I'm saying? Really I'm is. not gonna point her out, but she's out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's... So uh, yeah. that's just one of the ways that. Can do here. Yeah. Lot, yeah. So now I, we didn't anticipate this in the illusion. Now you know what I'm saying. You know, you barely trying to make it yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, then you come over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, opportunities come your way, you can kind of say, hey, you know, what goes around comes around. The more people I help, the more I get help. So yes, you know absolutely. What, so, what was here when you got here? Nothing. <laughs> this shows it just saying. Yeah. Saw. yeah. Just, this That's used to it. be rice patties. Mm -hmm. And uh, for some reason or another, they just abandoned it. Yeah. They said, we don't want to come this far from the village out here to mm -hmm. uh, plant rice. And so we said, as we was coming from the main road, we was like, man, this the boom, guys. We hate this. We don't want to get out here. Then we saw that river. Water. We was like, man, we'll water. take it. <laughs> do you have farm? Do you have farming equipment? No, it's it's it's, it's coming. Okay. Uh, he was talking about that, that house down there. Down. That's where every source of income is going. If y'all can see that four thousand square foot house down there, uh, yes. that's where the money is going. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Get out here, we'll and turn it up. speaking of four thousand square foot house. Mm -hmm. Our bedroom in that house right there mm -hmm. is bigger than our house in America. Mm -hmm. So whenever we start saying, oh, it's too hot over here, right. oh, these mosquitoes keep biting me, wow. you run into that massive bedroom and stuff, and you say, hey, <laughs> shut your mouth, shut your mouth, you know what I'm saying? Who's actually building the house? Uh, Who is actually building the house? Uh, different contracts. Okay. Different contracts. Uh, not one in particular, like, uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna mention yeah. any names, but yeah. it's individual. Well, it's like it's like it's the electricity and the water. I know you got water, but yeah, we solar panel here. You solar panel. Mm -hmm. We solar panel. And, so. and the the water is is basically right. no, that's salt water. Oh, we that. go down into the ground and get yeah, well water, unlimited supply of water. Well water. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well uh, uh, borehole water. Real quick, I don't, I don't have a lot of questions, but how many days is it? Does it rain here? Uh, it rains from 15 of June to the 15 of October. And June, July, it's not really rain. It may rain just one day, drizzle. then it's hot, it's hot. Mm -hmm. The heavy doses is in September. Yeah. And then it's it it like rain every day, every day, then it stops one day, then it comes back. Mm -hmm. oh, then it ends in October. October the 15th, it's 
That's it. It's not then nothing it's different from America. It's just those are the days when rains. Mm -hmm. From okay. June well, to October. With the global okay. warming and and things that are going on. Yes. On the planet, it's, it has been raining. Getting the same. Exactly. And, and, yeah, the whole country. Most of them didn't want to admit it, mm -hmm. but the whole country is being affected I in agree. one exactly. way or the other. I mean, I don't, it snowed, what, maybe twice or so? I mean, pretty uh, big storms big in New York. Mm -hmm. just where it wasn't and like then, it used to be. Our spring, which it's still hot. comes in March, it's January, January. Mm -hmm. came in February. Wow. You know, and Savannah. Until and Savannah's got nice weather. Yeah, 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 to the full five acres of ground crops. But the farm equipment would make it a lot. Oh, yes. So the farm, to be honest with you, the farming equipment would help me as far as cutting the grass. Okay. Because we do it right here with a, a riding exactly. mower, push mower, weed eaters, and the manual machetes. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Now, that that's cumbersome, that's but, but labor's in abundance here. And yeah, what okay. we pay to cut the grass, they're satisfied because they call us during rainy season, hey, can I still cut the grass? We're like, yeah, you still got, you still got it. You know what I'm saying? Labor's in abundance here and stuff. So, what's your experience in agriculture? Did you um, just uh, learn it? Absolutely. Yeah, we are learning as we go. Learning as you go. Yeah. So I'm talking about corners. Let me know. Oh my God. <laughs> we'll build it. Yeah, there ain't no family. Yeah. Figure it out. We'll so figure it out. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, we just we just learning as we go. Amazing person. Exactly. Learning. Exactly. You got a lot of apple boys. That's a big job. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, I, sometimes yeah. I be having my little fits and stuff, like but yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> but it's getting worse in the United States. I already know. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting worse. It's getting scary. Yeah, I, I go to sleep. I go to sleep, <clears throat> and it's good. Then I get up. You know what I'm saying? It's good. Did you give up your citizenship when you do a I'm contemplating that. Now, see. Uh, uh, Really? A, a lot of people, because uh, once I do that, now a lot of income's gonna go away. That's but, 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 but do I want to be at the mercy of their whims saying, okay, now too many of y'all have left. I need for y'all to come back now. I don't, I don't want to be on that recall list. The recall list, I love it. <laughs> so, so, because they, they, they need us to survive. And as we start leaving. The, the system really is going to, it's already crumbling now. It's going to crumble more as we leave. Mm -hmm. And so somebody asked me about my citizenship. Am I contemplating on renouncing my citizenship? Yes, I was. Yes, I am. Now, that's that's strategic for each individual. That's right. But I realize that uh, in doing so, there's repercussions mm -hmm. of that. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. But the thing of it is, do I want to be at the mercy of them recalling me saying, Okay, you got to come back now. Too many of y'all done left. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody doing the work right now. You know, I don't. I don't want to be subject to that call. You see what I'm saying? So well, I thought that's what the Mexicans are for, because they're bringing them in from yeah. from Mexico and South Mexico. Well, nobody works like the Africans. There you go. I, I'm with you on that. <laughs> I'm with you on that. <laughs> nobody can replace us. There you go. Uh, okay. So like if you had like a hundred thousand dollars or whatever, like to bring here and, and build something, would you be able to like, I mean, do something really nice? A uh, hundred thousand is overkill. I know. It's overkill. So what would yeah. be sufficient? Huh? What would be sufficient? That depends on your spending habits. And uh, I don't know if you're coming as a single woman or a married woman with, with, with children or I, I don't know your, your situation, but it's cheaper. It's a, it's 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 a it's a quarter of what you're spending in America. You see what I'm saying? In America, we needed ten thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. to survive. Mm -hmm. Over here, I mean, excluding you know paying out the salaries and things like that. If it wasn't for that, we can make it off a thousand a month. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I mean, that's so then the rest is the rest is extra, right? Because we got employees and we got gas and equipment and and so on and so forth. But if it was just us, a thousand a month is good until you develop that in-country income. I want to preface it with that: you have to develop that in-country income. You, you, you good enough? You got something coming from the outside. But I say in our camp, we say don't depend on that. Don't depend on it. And so, so when you develop something in-country, 
your money just doubled. So you're living even better. That's right. But if they get flaky there, you've already got something in country. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's, that's so cool. enjoy while it's in that double thing. I guess I was thinking I probably, unless I had a group of people like that would help, I wouldn't want to get something that I would have to maintain, mm -hmm. you know, because I probably wouldn't be able to do that, you know. So if yeah. I bought like a nice condo right. or something like that, I, I wouldn't want to maintain land mm -hmm. somewhere because right. I, so I just condo. don't know if I would be able to. Yeah, well, yeah, you can do that. The only thing you have to do is find somebody that's reliable and trustworthy. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. In a developing country, some people think I got to get you before somebody else mm -hmm. do. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to make sure you have somebody that's trustworthy and uh, uh, dependable. And, and, uh, and, and, and then it. your job, and then your job would be to basically monitor them. Right. You see what I'm saying? Don't just give them free reign and you run off to say. Morocco. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So do you have any realtors like here that you could recommend? Like if I wanted to buy like a condo, a nice condo, like condo that would be America. Or just, well, but, but it's only a name. Yeah. It's, it's the name. name. Yeah. It's, it's a name. It's a house, a rental house. Yeah, like yeah. an apartment type building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I don't know anybody uh, uh, that's a realtor. But I do know some people that do real estate transactions, and I can link you up with them and back out the picture, but I'll just say, y'all do y'all things. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if, if something goes south, we don't want some, some people to say, oh, oh, bag is a scammer. You know, they're already saying that anyway. They're already saying that anyway. That's a negative stuff they do I'm scamming people, but... I'm driving a 1995 pickup truck. And you're employing right. a whole village of people. Yeah, yeah. Huh? You're employing a whole yeah. village of people. But I'm the scammer. Yeah. You're bringing it. Yeah. 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, That's the bad thing about YouTube. There's negative energy on it, but you know, we just keep doing our thing. Right. So, yeah. so I challenge people. I say, show me what you're doing. Exactly. That's right. And they don't got the... Yeah. Duck behind that fence. So how much is that? How much does the... Um, how valuable is the sense of freedom that you have when you live here? Because I'm hearing you keep saying um, you have five acres, you have you're building a house, uh, you can live off a thousand dollars. It seems like you have a certain level of freedom right. uh, when you when you come here. I yeah. mean, there's the sense in your mind that you're free. Right. You, well, I'm gonna demonstrate the freedom. Okay. Can I demonstrate the freedom I got over here? I hate police. <laughs> and no Am I still living? I'm having a call on you. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's right here. Black I'm still living. Black you see what I'm saying? Ain't nobody coming. Ain't nobody coming. Ain't nobody coming. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, if they do come, they're going to look like me. That's right. That's right. So, so that's the freedom. That's, no. that, that's a, a quick voice. demonstration. You I hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and we can party and turn the music up loud. Uh, Ain't nobody going to say your music disturbing me. Uh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so yeah. so that, that's peace of mind right there. Yes, yeah. peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? Yo. I drive down the road. I don't have to worry about a siren. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody pulling me over saying, you fit the description. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's for yeah. sure. So they, they pull out their gun instead of their taser. That's it. That's that it. it. But now, that's now it. let's talk about services. Um, if something, God forbid, something was to happen to you medically, do you have a... You have that type, because I know where I live, we have shock trauma, we have a helicopter that land in that field right there mm -hmm. and wow. take you to John Hopkins and they open your chest up and put another heart in you. Right. Do you have that type of medical services here? This is a developing country, and if something of that magnitude happens, they can probably take you to Senegal or some other place. But I would like to cross-reference that with this. The people that are operating on you, do they look like you? Oh, no. Do they like you? Oh. Historically speaking, oh. how have they treated you when oh. you're on the table? Oh. So, oh. So, so factor oh. that in, you That's know what I'm saying? What well, we say is maintain a healthy lifestyle here. Yeah, once you, get you know, you change it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? When, when we first came, I was like maybe uh, 245 pounds. And, and 215, and I got down to like 185 pounds. Wow. Uh, just, uh, the weight just went. No, no, no. I got down to one. But you work. Yeah, you're more active and you're not eating as much uh, junk and polluted food. Processed food. Exactly right. Processed food. Processed food, yeah, processed food to the Pringles. Pringles. Right. Anybody got Pringles? I got okay. some in my bag. You want, I got some in my bag. <laughs> That's it. They are here, though. That's it. They are here. You ain't done with like soda. All I see. Oh my God.
But no, this is this is this is this is very liberating. It's very liberating. Just sitting here gives us a sense of liberation to me. It gives you a lot of time to think about life. Right, because it's slowed down. Yeah, they are just like what Daddy was saying. Because some, I told you some times ago, I have some guys from Bohami YouTube who are here, and they are having some animals in the village. They get a lot in a village called Sintu Delegas. That that lady, she bought a lot of animals rearing them. During Tobasi, with one of the other partner Amadou, they used to go and sell. Mm. But like, if people are selling in a big price, she just sell in another price. Undercut, so people yeah. just, you know, assist. Mm -hmm. She assists a lot. And then the other guy also, uh, I met, uh, she came, I picked her from the airport, get her apartment, then she get a land. But unfortunately, what that was just saying, here you want to help somebody. At the end of the day, they want to cross your name. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but thank God, I don't need to know who, what kind of account of number you have. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know how much you have in your ATM. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for her, she met one guy. That guy took her to one place for a land. So they were on the process, and then one day went to make the transfer. Officially, it was difficult for her. She called me. Then when I come, I tell her, "Look, I'm very sorry. I can't do anything." Because you bought the land without my notice. Mm -hmm. I get it from the airport, mm -hmm. give you the apartment, mm -hmm. now you do your transaction. Mm -hmm. Yes, this guy says he's the father who owns this as a good. You ask me. Mm -hmm. I have experience, I'm a citizen. Right. Right. If I play a game to you, I will, I will bend down. I will mm -hmm. never bend down for a human being in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm poor, but I remain poor, it's better. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately for her, they have to lose the land because somebody already owned the land. Wow. Yeah. That happens a lot. Yeah. So it's very important before you do something, you ask people who have experience. Mm -hmm. And people also, when somebody's talking, don't listen to what he's saying. Mm -hmm. What he leaves behind, try to analyze it. Yeah. That's right. The words are very cheap to come out. Mm -hmm. But the ones that are very true, they are always difficult to come out. That's true. So I used to tell people who I pick from the airport, look, this is your apartment for six months. This is your receipt, this is your key. Mm -hmm. If you have any difficulties, call me. Mm -hmm. But at the end, you can you see it sometimes the negative side. Right. So the other lady also down, she's doing But the other two guys, they just answer. Mm -hmm. yeah, so always try to consult. It's very yeah, important. That happens. Yeah. A lot of consult the people that are here before you. Mm -hmm. That's why every time when someone tell me, I tell you, go to the backyard family. Mm -hmm. For example, me, I'm a Gambian. Maybe if I want to tell you something, you think that I'm looking something from you. You know me. I never travel to UK, eh, sorry, USA. Mm -hmm. But like, if you come to the back family, they have double experience. Mm -hmm. They were in USA, and now they are in the garden. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you. you know, he said, as he was just trying to speak, when you are working, you don't say, I cannot do this. Mm. You, know, you have to try. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can employ somebody who even have experience in that side, mm -hmm. who will adjust you a bit. Because some time ago, when I was coming here, I remember those bananas where I somehow almost about to ride, but they don't give me. Mm -hmm. But they give me a lot of stuff <laughs> because mm -hmm. I took a lot of stuff. Because during Ramadan again, I came mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So it was a gift for me. I was very happy. Mm -hmm. So let's try and this is our continent. Mm -hmm. However long we stay in Europe, this is our continent. Get that right. So please, let's help the other. And this is our mother. Okay, one, I was going to say, but comment too. One of the things as far as the Bag family, and I can really testify and stuff of that because I've been watching them for some years. They keep it real and stuff. They got hundreds right. of videos. They show you the good, the bad, yeah. the people where they That's paid true. X amount and they didn't do nothing. Yeah. The yeah. brother had to kick them to the curb and fire them. The mm -hmm. borehole problems, mm -hmm. the borehole and so much stuff, the fence problems. We can go on and on. Mm -hmm. And they got the house going on over there. They got uh, apartments for the children. Mm -hmm. I think each one of them had two bedrooms, yeah. two in the bath. That's mm -hmm. what I want right over there. So the four children that are here, the four young people that are here, they're building places for them so they can get out of their place and do their own thing. So sweet daddy, sweet daddy can run sweet juicy mama all over the place. There you go, there you go. You see it, you see it. You see it. You see it. You see it. And he said, he keeps it ready, he says it, he says it on the videos. Mm -hmm. You could be laughing in this video, but he's telling it like it is. That's right. <laughs> Somebody else had a question over there? No, I thought somebody raised their hand. Yeah, man, dogs always come okay. up. Yeah. These dogs or something, they take that them too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and again, see, we, we brought two dogs. Really <laughs> Another business opportunity popped up. Yeah. 
Yeah. We we uh bought two dogs, two pit bulls from America, mm -hmm. and they breed, so we breed dogs too. See, mm -hmm. all right. so well, you gotta use we never counted all on that. Gifts right. we've been given, you and they are. We can't keep them. Well, we can't keep the pit bulls. <laughs> There's a waiting list now for the pit bulls. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, the pit bulls. Yeah, yeah. As, as security dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, a pit bull is a joke. Mm -hmm. yeah. Terrier. Oh yeah, terrier. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, they, 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 One of the mixed breed killed the German Shepherd. Yeah. yeah. One of oh, the mixed yeah. breeds killed the German Shepherd. A man down there. Yeah. <laughs> Went down there, had no business. You know what I'm saying? The land right outside your gate, who owns that land? Is that privately owned or the government? The government owns that land. They, they buying that up. They just hadn't come back. Yeah, they, they buying that up. All of that back there, where y'all first come in, and a lot of Americans are back there now. Yeah, yeah. When we first came, we first came uh, for 15 years. It was a German lady and a Belgian man, and then we came 15 years later. <laughs> After we came, <coughs> black Americans don't bought up all that back there. Yeah. there you go. So this is going to be black American town or whatever you want to call it real soon because they don't bought it up back there. You know what I'm saying? And this area is called what? Sifo. 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 Yeah. And it's yeah. the biggest, the next biggest city to Sifo. Sifo is what? Uh, Bukama. is the biggest. Bukama. Yeah, Bukama. Bukama, Kitty, Sifo, then you got Gunju. Gunju. Now we're in, we're, in, we're in northern, southern what? Gambia. What is this? North Combo? We're Combo. in northern Gambia? Yeah, Combo. Yeah. The other side that you come through is from the north. Yeah, that's mm. it. When you go this side, you're the south. Well, I will tell you, in the central river, is the most fertile area also. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the, because the water is fresh. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. Not well, salty. Yeah. That's up True. river, right? So, mm -hmm. That's why we have difficulties down. Before, when the Second Republic was here, he was Nami. making best use of that. Nami. Yeah, Jamie rice, rice cultivation. Mm. Yeah, he was every day going there. Sometimes he would stay there one month without coming to the capital city. Yeah. He's in the up country. Okay. Yeah. So, but he was having fish falls, many things he developed in that area. But today they are minus zero. Mm. No tractors, nothing. All is been sell by this tax government. Mm -hmm. The auction because they were saying he's a dictator. Whatever he owns, they must sell it. Mm. So yeah. now we are left. Like, the farmers they are left like this. They used Let me to, uh, throw something else out there too now. Uh, the clock is ticking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so the more you procrastinate or delay or put it off, the, 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 the clock is ticking. And so the prices that are available today ain't going to be there tomorrow. Now, the prices that they're, since they're buying up the land around us, uh, if we can sell our land for what they're selling it for around us, we're millionaires right now. Wow. And I ain't talking about Gambian money, I'm talking about American dollars and stuff. Because the price is to go. And it's not slowing up. It's not slowing up, you know what I'm saying? So uh, if you're thinking about it, I, I, I would suggest you kind of move in that direction. You ain't necessarily got to jump in there uh, 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 with two feet, just buy you a plot. Mm -hmm. And as time progresses, then you yeah. can develop that until you're ready to move, or at least you always got a plan B in effect. Mm -hmm. If it gets, mm -hmm. how do you call it, uh, when the stuff hit the fan, mm -hmm. you got a plan B. You always can bounce up out of there and stuff. That's right. So, so how much is the plot? Do they still have the mm -hmm. tax system that they have in America where you have to pay for your land once a year? Yes, ma'am. have that? Yes, you have to pay your taxes at the end of the uh, at the end of every year. Okay. Yeah. And it's not mm -hmm. like but, but no 30 year mortgage. That's right. Oh, okay. Everything right y'all sitting on right now is right. paid for. That's why right. I say, you know, right. we're not those big name people is coming out of pocket and it's going into the land. Everything is paid for. No thirty no thirty year mortgage. Mortgages. Pass it on to the kids. Do the taxes. Yeah, what y'all just pay taxes. What y'all do and pass it on. Yeah. Somebody had a question. So how much is a plot? It depends on where you're going. Well the plots that are around here now. Oh, the plots that are around here now are going anywhere. It's a like like this right here is a 400 meter by 250 meter. Okay. And right now they're selling everything a 20 meter by 20 meter, so they don't chop Small. it down. And wow. you know what I'm saying. Wow. And so that could go anywhere from two to five thousand U.S. dollars. They don't chop it up and That's sell it like that. In fact, when we come through here, they be telling us we will never sell it. Again, like we sold it to y'all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I was no. like, hey, thank God we came when we did. You exactly. Know what I'm yeah. so, That's the benefit. That's the be benefits of being our pioneers. Like most of our, this time, like the Sarangules, 
and the Jackangas. When they come, they buy a big land, like right now at Piram. Mm -hmm. I was just called there two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. They have a big land area, they are selling. Yeah. It was about 300, 200 meters uh, uh, square meter. Okay. But these people are rushing there now. They will buy everything. Mm -hmm. They will keep it for maybe after one year. They resell. They resell. So yeah. that? That's all the business they are doing. So they buy a big land and keep it. Mm -hmm. Then after one year, two years, they sell it and they get millions. So these are some of these. What she is trying to tell you, you do make hay while this one sign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you can buy a plot of land, leave it there. Just fence it and lease it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pay the tax. They pay the tax. Yeah, but they tax here. I think so. Yeah, but I'm just saying, even if it's I don't think like, like in my area, Busumbala, you know. It's not bad. Yeah. 400, 500, mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah. They know the size of the plot and what you're using it for. Yeah. Well, how fast do you have to fence it before you have to worry about encroachment for people trying to take it? Yeah, I, I, what I recommend is if you buy a plot, get your borehole, and then uh, uh, fence it off. That way it can't be resold. Because uh, when we first bought the land, we was coming here, we, we probably got about like maybe 2,000 palm wine trees. So they was tapping the trees for palm wine. I was like, hey, you know. This is our land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I'm saying. This, this the is the Huh? The Balantas or the... No, the, the, palm, the, the palm tree. What do you say? The Balantas are coming to tap it. Yeah, they was coming to tap oh, it. That's yeah. folks. Huh? It's yeah. A, it's a palantas. Yeah, they, they, was, they, they, they were tapping folks. it. They like tapping so it. So they was yeah. chopping down the tree. They were cutting the trees. Chop, cutting yeah. the trees for wood. And I'm like... So we pissed it off, you know what I'm saying? And the only reason that is, you see concrete here, and then you look back there and see wood, we're still buying. Still buying, you know what I'm saying? So, Are those cows still showing up when they want to do yes, that thing? They yes, still, the cows come up. Yes, ma'am. We chase them off. And do you still have the thing where you can go? The synagogue is right over there. Yeah, when right you see people, there. you can go right over there on the little boat. A little something. fence. Or, a right. fence or a right boat. Right over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And inside that water, we got tilapia, yeah, we got everything. catfish, and we got crab legs. Oh, crab legs. So, oh. all you got to do is go out there, huh? I just said crab legs. Mm -hmm. Yep, That's right out there. Girls. Right out there and stuff. So, okay. it's available. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. So, anyway, we just, we just take what the land gives us. Mm. If, if y'all want to. Yeah, sure, yeah, absolutely. Let's, uh, if we can do a nice little tour of the land and then, uh, and then take some pictures and then we have to, we have to make a move. Okay, it's up to y'all. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, this is amazing, amazing. Everybody, everybody. guys, uh, when you go to the house, we, we ask that you don't take pictures oh, no, no, inside no, the house. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. no pictures. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no pictures no and no recording. I'm glad you said that too. Yeah. What, what about recording? No recording also? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're going to slice that. Because we're going to do this a Patreon. Okay, perfect. No recording, no pictures. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that will work, family. All right, bye, bye. In, inside, inside the house. Yeah. All right. Don't forget to like, share, and <laughs> like, share. Yeah, guys, there you go. There you go. And subscribe. There you go. Rock <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The Bag Family. Yes, that's it. Okay. That's it. That's Here it. in Gambia. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right. That's it. That's it. The people got a brand new bar. <laughs> 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 okay, er, I got you. You're on right now. Before this, everybody, this. Okay, they can work with you. It's a family. I hope you appreciate the energy of our wonderful connection. Uh, you know, we always do these magnificent connection because we appreciate our brothers and sisters who return to the African continent to do the work of the ancestors and really just uh, you know build up the energy and put things in place. To work with our brothers and sisters here on the ground, and this is a great yeah, inspiration, great energy, and this a great example of what we as a people can do from America to Africa. You know, so, family, the Bomani Tamba here, live on Revolutionary Camp at the Black Acres of the Gamli family land, and this is incredible because we have to think about the future of our children and the future of our people and put ourselves in the best situation where we can enjoy our later years knowing that we put the work in to build a strong black nation for the future. So family, we have a whole lot more to share with you. The journey continues.